My name is Karis Rogers, and I was being bullied for my dark skin complexion. I turned a negative into a positive by making a clothing line called Flexin in My Complexion. Then it's blowing up. Now my family and I are going around speaking to other kids who are also being bullied, but came out stronger. This is Beyond Bullied. Today we're meeting Lauren Lulu Williams. She's a 16 year old from Tennessee who wore a wig to cover up a scalp condition and her wig got ripped off her head in school. And then the kids posted the video on social media. Since then she created a movement called I Am Shame Free to encourage others to love and accept themselves. So come on in and get comfortable. All right. So I wanna learn some fun facts about you. I don't know, I'm kind of like an open book. I write a little, I play piano, I've always wanted to be a dancer. Me and my mom have been putting together kind of like a talk show, and let's see, I love photography. Cool. I was bullied as well, I heard you were bullied, um, can you tell me a little bit about that? I think it started really in middle school when girls would start throwing food at me behind my back and then it progressed into high school where this incident happened where this guy decided that he was going to take a $5 bet to pull off my wig and so he ran past me, tore it off, threw it down the hallway. He had a girl that went in the bathroom and videotaped me over the stall like crying and trying to put my wig back on. I was terrified. That was my, one of my worst nightmares. It was so bad that it gave me whiplash and tore out two patches near the front of my head. And I had to shave my head, but it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. When you are a parent and you send your child to school, the last thing you expect is that they're gonna be in harm's way. The entire time this was going on with my daughter, no administration was around. After my daughter finally got my other daughter, they found her wig, came and brought it to her. Both of my daughters walked out of the school and left the school. <laughs> I'm not trying to get emotional, because, it, but it upsets but it's me. An, it's an emotional time. Why do you think kids bully other kids? I think that kids bully other kids because they're hurting inside. It starts at home sometimes, so they go and they channel all that towards another kid thinking, oh, this is gonna move the attention off me, make me feel better about myself and what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna go and bully this kid. Hurt people hurt people. She's speaking facts, like <laughs> straight up facts. I'm so proud of both of our daughters because they did not take the violent route. They said, let me take this incident that happened to me and teach others how to turn this into something positive, how to bring attention to it. Yes. And hopefully another child doesn't have to go through this. They took back their power and they said, I'm not gonna allow you to determine my worth or you to tell me how to feel about myself. What did you do after you were getting bullied? I've made an organization that's called I Am Shame Free and it's basically all about showing that there's no need to be shamed of who you are, what you look like. Shame free to me is feeling free within yourself, feeling like no one can hurt you because you realize that, oh, I love myself, I am above this, I can overcome all this, these things that people are saying about me. And one of my quotes I've been saying is, beauty isn't defined by the number of strands on your head, but by what's within. And that kind of goes with girls feeling like they're not beautiful because they don't have long, silky hair. So I have a special message from someone for you guys. Well, hello there. You guys both mean so much to me personally. Do you know I found both of you guys on Instagram? I heard that you were being bullied for your skin color and I'm like, this is some of the most beautiful skin I have ever seen. And Lulu, I heard your story and about somebody ripping off your wig. And so I took off my wig for a photo and showed the world that we don't need those things to be beautiful. And a little birdie, a fierce one, told me that Lulu, you want to be a talk show host. Well, I have a little bit of advice for you. You need to listen and stay present and then you're gonna get an Emmy one day. I'm so proud of both of you guys. All right, sending love. Aww. Hey Tyra. Hey Tyra. 
Hold up, wait a minute. Did that just happen? Thank you and I love your story. I love everything that you're doing about bullying because you're putting a message out there and it's just inspiring to see other young black girls being successful. What are you doing to accept yourself today? Full pancake.